How are you? How are you? Good day, have a good day. This was my first full day in Africa, a day spent in Kibera, the largest slum on the continent. So if you can see back there, this is like different villages. So these are the villages in Kibera. At the moment is yeah, for two tribes in, in Kenya. So like you can get all those tribes, you can get them in Kibera. And going around Kibera can take you like the whole day, about a day and a half, because it's so big. Kibera is located on the outskirts of Nairobi, Kenya's capital, and an estimated 800,000 people live there. Our team from Oklahoma visited as guests of Carolina for Kibera, or CFK, a group based out of the University of North Carolina. In April, the group was awarded the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial Reflections of Hope Award for their work during the post-election violence in Kenya in January. Our tour of Kibera was led by Kantar who we met in Norman when CFK directors came to Oklahoma to accept the award. Kantar led us through one of the most poverty-ridden places on the planet, while at the same time showing us how much amazing work is being done there to help. Carolina for Kibera is an NGO that runs youth programs. We have mainly four youth programs running currently and a medical center that we work in partnership with CDC. CFK has a very large and impactful sports program as well as a waste management program called Trash is Cash. A number of important groups for girls are run out of the Binti Pomoja Center. Binti Pomoja means Daughters United, and the center brings girls between 11 and 18 together from across Kibera to discuss issues they face living in the slum. One of the main things that girls do, we do a lot of photography. We give girls cameras, they take pictures on issues they identify in the community and write stories of the pictures they've taken and mm -hmm. so we just put films mm -hmm. and batteries mm -hmm. and they're given for one week they go take pictures and mm -hmm. they bring them back remove the film and take them out for printing mm -hmm. the pictures and the stories have been printed in a book called lightbox which has been sold in the u.s to raise funds for cfk another very important focus of cfk's work in kibera is in medicine the organization currently operates its Tabitha Clinic from two sites in the slum. Is we have up to about like 200 patients. Mm -hmm. We see about 200 patients averagely a day, <coughs> roughly about 60 to 80 here, 120 down the other clinic. The smaller clinic was pretty cramped and busy when we visited, but it was the same story at the other side of Kibera at the larger clinic as well. When we arrived at the larger clinic, it was quite apparent that there was not enough room for our group. The place was packed with people seeking treatment. Perhaps you can do it outside. This is the main clinic, it feeds the other one. We have similar staffing, but then we only provide laboratory services at this clinic because we don't have enough space at B. We have two medical officers, and then we have four clinical officers, and then we have seven nurses, two pharmacists, a laboratory technician, a registration officer, and myself. Uh, in a day, we have a, a minimum of about 200 to 240 patients at both clinics. The lack of space for such a large medical operation was painful to see. But luckily, CFK was already on top of it. Carolina for Tibera is also constructing a very big facility. We will move these services to that clinic. Construction of the new CFK Tabitha Clinic. The, the two clinics, all of them will be accommodated here. So this will be the, the only clinic around Tibera, which is like a, a, a permanent with a permanent structure. This will be the first hospital which will be having like an X-ray machine. Oh wow. Yeah. CFK's new clinic will undoubtedly increase the organization's significance in Kibera, adding to the number of people who have already been impacted. People like my new friend, Steve. Okay, what's your last name, Steve? My name, last name is Duma Steven Okedo. So what, do you, what have, has CFK helped you with? Uh, first, you've given me confidence about the, the, uh, through the training. I'm capable of, now I can be a facilitator. I'm a peer educator. 
I'm also taking part in the Sports Council Department organizing for the tournament. Steve told me he is also one of the leaders of a CFK group that uses sports to educate his peers about the dangers of HIV and drugs, a program that is working according to Maurice, who has been in CFK since 2003. Our youth have learned uh, the dangers to stay off from HIV and AIDS in infection and also to keep off drugs. It's amazing to look back and see how much I learned on my first day in Africa. Kibera is the type of place that most Americans think of when they hear Africa. And yes, the poverty does exist. But what I found there was much more than poverty. It was a hardworking drive to rise above horrendous circumstances. This drive was best expressed by Kantar, who grew up in Kibera, but had a realistic and hopeful dream for the future. We are the problem in Kibera and we are the solution. If we run away from the problem, who will come and improve our lifestyle. So you need just to empower us so that at least we can improve our community. If you'd like more information about Carolina for Kibera, please visit cfk.unc.edu. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Mark Nerens.